Most digital cameras record a similar range of light as a printed image, around three and a half stops between the black and white points. Film typically captures four to four and a half stops, so its exposure is less critical. On sunny days, contrast between the white and black points increases, so accurate metering becomes essential, even on film. Shooting into the sun means bright highlights can be transmitted through clouds or material, making a glowing white point much brighter than the reflected white point on a print and outside recording range. On cloudy days, there is far less contrast between the shadows and the highlights. So metering is normally less of a problem. Scenes that are mainly light or dark can also fool the meter. One solution is to meter off a grey card and to use those light readings to set up the camera in manual mode. A grey card gives an average that isn't affected by uneven brightness in the scene. Other devices to overcome metering problems include the incident light meter. Unlike a camera meter, this measures the light falling onto a scene, so it isn't fooled by background tones. A spot meter is available on some cameras, or as a separate accessory. This meter is a small part of the scene, so you can select a mid-tone without very bright or dark areas affecting your readings. It can also be used to measure highlights and shadows to help you decide exactly where information will be lost. A general rule applies: areas two stops brighter than the midtone set on the camera record as white, and those two stops less than the midtone record as black. Whether you use a grey card or an incident light meter. One more factor needs to be accounted for. Negative film is better at recording detail in highlights than the shadows, so the average tones we use for metering need to be in the shade, not in the sunlight, especially when photographing towards the light. This technique, contrajour lighting, flatters subjects as it lights up hair and helps to prevent squinting. Digital cameras and transparency films are better at recording shadow detail, but they are easily overexposed. These readings need to be taken from average tones in the sunlight. On an automatic camera, you have no option to override the meter. To avoid too much contrast, don't include very bright and very dark areas in the same scene. Concentrate on the key points of interest instead. Crop out high contrast areas, move subjects into the shade, or change your angle of view.